And we think, uh, I think together, that we must, uh, it's, I, it's, it's, it's our uh, role, it's, our, uh, it's a necessity to bring electrification to transportation to Asia. Uh, with the, with the uh, tremendous growth in car population in both India and China, uh, we feel this is a must. So I'd like to uh, welcome you to our board. Um, I'm, I'm sure that we're going to have a great time together uh, in the next few years. Um, and we, we look forward to work together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. <coughs> My name is Kevin Addison and uh, I'm with HSBC. And uh, I think uh, we're very excited uh, to be a part of Better Place. And so thank you for having us today uh, to uh, talk about this. With Better Place, we have to first uh, talk about HSBC and HSBC's focus. Uh, we're publicly uh, on record in talking about alternative energy is a place where we want to focus our capital and to focus resources. We believe in alternative energy. We think it's very important. And to that end, we've dedicated over a year studying this particular area, uh, that being electrification and transportation. During that time, we came across Better Place, and we've been looking at Better Place for frankly, a year. And in looking at Better Place and studying Better Place, we quickly came to the realization that Better Place has a model that is unique and cannot be compared to anyone else that we've come across. Uh, the model, is, it, it works, it's proven technology. And over the time, over the course of the past uh, couple years, we have seen Better Place form very important partnerships and alliances that are critical in terms of delivering a holistic solution that Better Place has to offer. This is a very uh, important step that we found uh, great comfort. We spent uh, quite a bit of time talking to uh, Renault and some of the other auto OEMs. We've talked to the utilities, such as Dong. We talked to the battery manufacturers, such as A123. And all of those dis discussions had confirmed exactly what uh, we expected, which is that uh, we're on to a very unique model, and one that is, is, is clearly uh, inevitable in terms of electrification of the, the transportation, but also the model that Better Place offers. It's unique, it's complete, it's holistic. So over the course of this time, we have uh, formed a, a complete view about the, the, the path that electrification will take and what is needed in order to make it a successful model. We're very excited about becoming a part of uh, a better place as it, it, it overlaps in our footprint. We have uh, a great focus in Europe. Uh, we focus in Asia. And we're already working closely with uh, Better Place uh, in various countries across those two regions. Substantial opportunity we see for our firm to work together with Better Place. What we've also seen over the course of the past year in, in looking at uh, electrification of, of transportation is that actually the governments are very supportive of this. And we've seen many governments across uh, Europe and Asia either provide uh, important incentives or to create a framework for electrification to take place. So we're very excited about the opportunity. We see a terrific upside in working together and we clearly look forward to the future. Uh, I'm now going to turn to Anthony Birnbaum who is responsible for a global special opportunities at HSBC who led the team. Anthony. Thanks, Kevin. Um, let me start by just saying how pleased I am we are to be here today with Shai, Idan, and Alan, <coughs> and also to reiterate just how important a financial investment this is for HSBC. To excuse me a moment. So, how important a financial investment this is for HSBC. We have made a number of investments, and I would say this is one of the largest and by far the most significant. 
In terms of elaborating on what Kevin said, we've, we've spent over a year looking at this sector and we looked for companies that not just said they were green and said they were environmentally friendly, but which really were also commercially viable, uh, could fulfill their, their objectives commercially with private sector funding, without government grants, and really worked and had a, a product that would be attractive for consumers. And so we, as we looked around, we, we, we found Better Place. Uh, we spent a year getting to know Better Place, and we've diligenced increasingly over that year Better Place extremely, extremely strongly. So where has that one year taken us, and why do we now think Better Place will succeed, and clearly our investment today uh, supports our view that it will succeed. And I think the, the five things we identified was, one, its business model, two, the management team, uh, three, the technology, which is really about applying old technology, not new technology. Uh, fourth, the partnerships, the governments, the OEM support. And finally, fifthly, that the scope and scale of what Better Place is doing affords real opportunity for ourselves, uh, the economy, and, and wider. Um, overall, it goes with that. I, go, it, I think it's fair to say that we see Better Place potentially in its sector as fundamentally changing as Google or Microsoft have been in theirs. Um, if I turn to the external diligence that we've done, we did a number of uh, months of internal diligence ourselves. If I turn to the external diligence, we asked what I would think are probably the two top consultants in hardware and software for the automotive sector to look at Better Place. And they came back and really helped us confirm our view and belief that Better Place will absolutely get there on time or thereabouts for its launch in Israel and Denmark and that the technology and the processes that Better Place have adopted make the whole model completely scalable. If I touch on other diligence we did, we spoke to OEMs, we spoke to Renault foremostly clearly, and our observation would be Renault has a, a significant lead on the other OEMs. It has four cars, electric cars, uh, in, in, in design and production. We've seen them, they look fantastic. We've driven the Fluence, and that really is an outstanding car. Uh, and uh, we're very excited to also be seeing Renault partner with, with Better Place. In terms of um, other OEMs, our feeling is that many will, will watch and see and wait for Better Place to succeed potentially in Israel and Denmark, but will almost certainly uh, see others coming in even sooner than that. Uh, finally, let me touch about our diligence around the consumer. We, we obviously, I started by saying we saw, you know, tested, does the consumer really going to buy into electric cars? And I think the beauty of the switchable model is without doubt that it gives range to the electric car. It, gives, it makes it a mass market and it allows those, re those mass r consumers who drive relatively long distances regularly, it gives them the opportunity to buy an electric car, enjoy it, and frankly have an incredibly exciting proposition and one which is also economic given the savings in oil and petrol that that brings. Uh, finally, let me just, just finish by saying I think everybody we spoke to as we did our work talked about the inevitability of electrification. Uh, you certainly heard it from, from Shai and the team here, but we, whether, wherever we went to, in or out of the industry, that's what people spoke about. <coughs> but without a doubt, what Better Place does, in our view, is make that inevitability happen today. It makes it real today, and it makes it possible today. And we are absolutely delighted to be joining with Better Place. We really look forward to sharing in uh, Better Place's success and indeed the industry's future success. Thank you, Alan. Thanks, Anthony. I'm Alan Salzman, the CEO and managing partner of Vantage Point Venture Partners. We have been involved with Better Place from the beginning, from the concept stage, and I'm delighted to be here today and have us joined by industry leading players who share a common vision as to the future and have a willingness to roll up their sleeves and help make it happen. We're at a transition point in how we make, manage, and use energy around the world. We're at the point in time where it's essential that we move it forward from antiquated ways of doing things to a addressing and embracing the 21st century. We've seen this movie before. At Vantage Point, we focus on companies with the ability to transform their industries. We were privileged to be part of working with talented entrepreneurs in the 1980s and the 1990s as PCs transformed the computer industry, as biotech transformed the pharmaceutical industry, as Diatacom transformed the communications industry, and and witness the rise of the internet. Now the largest industries of all, 
those relating to energy, transport, building materials, water.